Now I would like to tell you about a topic known as straight lines. The very first question raised here that what is the straight line? In fact, a straight line is that which separates a plane in two halves. If there is a plane and we have drawn such shape which is separating the plane in two halves, each is known as the one half plane and other half plane. So the divider of a plane or the separator of a plane in the two equal parts in the two equal planes or in two half planes is known as the straight line. We are very much familiar with the straight line in a plane in class 10th, in class 9th, 8th or everywhere. We can plot the straight line on the plane surfaces whereas on the curved surfaces we are not able to draw the straight line. Here we will discuss about how to find the slope of a straight line. We will discuss what is the angle between the two straight lines. We will discuss what is the equation of a straight line in the different positions. So very first thing I would like to discuss with you is that what is the slope of a straight line. So if I talk about the slope of a straight line, it is symbolically it is given by M and to explain you what is the slope, we would like to discuss with you that if a plane having four quadrants, that is one of the horizontal line we say it is x axis another the vertical line which is y axis the point of intersection of x axis and y axis is known as origin where abscissa and ordinate that is value of x and y both are 0 and 0 now the first thing which is mandatory to start the topic straight line that what is a slope. If we see this is the straight line slope symbolically we represent it by M. We are observing here that this straight line suppose L is making one of the angle theta with the x axis and with the same x axis another angle is phi. The line L straight line L is making two angles one the theta other the phi with the same x axis. I would like to tell you which of the angle theta is a positive and why the phi is the negative. We always take the angles in the anti-clockwise direction as positive angles and in the clockwise direction as the negative angle. But now where we have to start? We will reach to the line. We will start from x axis. So it is clearly noticeable that angle theta is in the anti-clockwise direction. Angle theta in the anti-clockwise direction and angle phi is in the clockwise direction. So theta which is in the anti-clockwise direction is known as the positive angle whereas the angle phi that is in the clockwise direction. Angle phi is in clockwise direction. This is taken as the negative. So what 
is the use of these positive and negative angles with the slope of a line very much important that slope is always given by m that is tan of theta that is slope of a line we can say slope of a line is given by m and is equals to tan theta where it is necessary that theta is the positive angle saying positive angle means the theta is the angle in the anti clockwise direction with the x axis so a line whatever angle makes with the positive direction of the x axis its value in the tan is known as its slope so first component that what is the slope of a line is being explained you the slope is given by tan theta and theta is the positive angle between the line whose slope is required and x axis in the cartesian coordinate system now i want to explain you how to find the slope of a line in some different situations if this is the cartesian coordinate system x axis y axis and origin as usual and this is the line which makes an angle of 120 degree in the positive direction of x axis as theta is 120 degree which is a positive so we know that m that is what slope slope m is given by tan of 120 degree we know that the answer of tan 120 degree is minus root 3 hence we can conclude that slope of this line is minus of root 3 in this situation if i take another example that if a line is making a different angle say for example this is the straight line which is making an angle of 150 degree but we are observing this is a clockwise direction with the x axis from the x axis to the line so this angle this angle 30 degree will be taken as the positive angle the slope m will be given by tan theta where theta is the angle in the anti clockwise direction that is tan 30 degree so this become 1 by root 3 now if i take some different situation if a line is parallel to x axis this is the line l which is parallel to x axis it means it will never meet x axis so theta is 0 degree so this become m that is tan theta that is tan 0 degree that's answer is 0 hence we have to remember one important result if a line is parallel to x axis then its slope will be always zero because it is not meeting x axis so the angle will be taken as zero so the slope will be given by tan zero that is zero in case if a line is perpendicular to x axis like this if a line is perpendicular to x axis so we can say the angle in the positive direction as well as in the negative direction in the both the directions the angle which line makes with the x axis is 90 degree so the slope that is m is equals to tan 90 degree which we say not defined infinity so we have to take vice versa also if the slope of a line is zero it means what line is parallel to x axis or if a slope of a line is infinity it means that 
लाइन इज परपेंडिकुलर टू वॉट एक्स एक्सिस नाउ इन केस इफ अ लाइन इज लाइक दिस दैट इट इज बाइसेक्टिंग द फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेन दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेन एंड दिस लाइन इज बाइसेक्टिंग इट दिस कंप्लीट एंगल इज 90, सो बाइसेक्टिंग एंगल बिकम 45 डिग्री दिस इज एक्स एक्सिस एंड वाई एक्सिस एंड दिस इज द लाइन एल सो एनी लाइन विच इज बाइसेक्टिंग द फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट बाइसेक्टिंग फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट और ऑटोमेटिकली इट हैज टू बाइसेक्ट द थर्ड क्वाड्रेंट इवन इफ इट इज बाइसेक्टिंग द थर्ड क्वाड्रेंट देन द स्लोप एम विल बी टेन फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री दैट इज वन सो वट वी कैन कॉल If a line is bisecting first quadrant or third quadrant, its slope is one. Or we can say, if a line is bisecting the second or fourth quadrant, then this angle with the positive direction of x-axis is one hundred thirty-five degree. So in this situation, the slope m is given by tan of one thirty-five. degree that is what minus 1 so what i want to explain you i just want to tell you that if a line is parallel to x axis slope is 0 perpendicular to x axis slope is infinity or vice versa and if a line is bisecting the first or third quadrant slope is 1 but if it is bisecting the second or fourth quadrant the slope is minus 1 so the slope is what value of tan with the positive angle x axis and line